what's going on everyone welcome to charge it up this is going to be a quick review of my delivery experience for the 2020 model x that you see on screen right now uh, this one is obviously the blue metallic color with the 20 inch uh, two-tone rims white interior long range plus uh, with the enhanced autopilot enabled or purchased whichever one you want to say um, it looks amazing uh, I can't really say much about it right now because I just got it but I will be doing reviews um, and posting videos about the Model X as my ownership experience continues um, I do however have to say for the delivery of the unit um, things didn't go that well uh, when it comes to the delivery aspect but um, I'm not gonna let that hinder my experience with the car uh, but I'll definitely let you guys know what uh, I went through and what issues I have found with the Model X so far so my overall experience obviously um, the car is great so you can't take that out take that away from the car depending on obviously no matter how many issues there are with the car the car um, still looks amazing uh, most of the things are I mean to be honest other than other than that one uh, issue with the falcon wing door everything is, else is cosmetic which can be replaced and fixed um, so the total issues that I found at the time of delivery uh, was 20 um, sorry I should say 22 uh, but two things uh, since then have um, actually been cleared up I'll start off with there was a video I started um, with my previous vehicle which I also delivered to his new owner the same day I picked up the Model X uh, out in Milton uh, I may use that video still but uh, it didn't actually go as planned um, obviously due to COVID-19 there were uh, social distancing precautions put in or in place um, the visor was around but obviously he had to stay pretty far back uh, lucky for him though um, I've been looking at Tesla's for quite a while now until I pulled the trigger on this one and I was able to pretty much go through the car um, and basically check out the car on my own except for one or two questions that I asked and obviously he was there and he explained it to me and uh, from a distance so that was good um, however I did run into a quite a long list of things that I wish they technically would have gone through first before letting me know the car was ready uh, let's go through that list okay so the very first thing that I noticed um, to be honest as soon as the advisor drove it out of the service shop was that they actually drilled the front license plate into the front bumper um, I did previously ask about two or three times for that not to happen because I did buy a uh, license plate bracket uh, so I wouldn't have to drill the, license, the front license plate which is obviously mandatory here in Canada um, so that was number one thing and that obviously kind of gave me a quick sour taste in my mouth as soon as he drove it out um, but again that's been talked about and they've confirmed that they will replace the front bumper uh, because I did mention it it wasn't a paperwork somebody just missed it second thing I did notice right off the bat as soon as opening the driver's side door was that this one over here has carbon fiber decor um, I actually ordered the dark ash decor or black ash decor that you can see which is everywhere else except for the driver's side door which is carbon fiber and I'm pretty sure that only comes with the performance model and the falcon wing door on the driver's side also has the carbon fiber which was really weird um, showed that to the Tesla advisor and he mentioned immediately that he hasn't seen that before um, again mentioned and I believe they will replace it okay so just to throw this out there um, this car was transported in from Quebec to Ontario um, I understand that obviously transporting things do happen um, one of the things I did have a little bit of issue was with the car was still uh, kind of dirty on the inside uh, all the sills or sorry 
seals, um, door seals, and then the door sills um, where the rubber housing is or rubber seals are, everything was just dirty. Um, I actually just recently washed the car, so that's all gone, but I do have pictures of it if uh, they do want to ask me about those. One of the things I did notice on the outside of the car was there was a scratch. I don't know if you can see it. Right over there on the uh, fender garnish assembly. So this is the unpainted or uh, matte black finish look. Uh, which is the wheel housing or it's called the garnish. I looked it up uh, for the actual uh, parts feature of the Model X. Uh, so that's scratched and then there is another mark right over here right there that's i don't even know what that is but it just looks like a bit of a scratch but that will obviously have to get replaced as well so that was also something that i noticed um, at the time of delivery keeping with the driver's side uh, portion of the vehicle So I did notice that on the actual tiny little window right here, I'm sure you can see it, right there, there's actually a scratch on the glass. So I tried to clean it off, the advisor tried to clean it off, uh, that one is actually not coming off. So they'll have to either do something miraculous with it or just replace that portion there. So when I did notice that portion there scratched, I then noticed that this doesn't really line up perfectly with the actual um, mirror housing, this quill mirror housing. So this portion here can probably go down or get pushed down, not too sure. I did check the other side and the other side does line up nicely. So that was another thing that I uh, mentioned to the advisor. Not sure if this is an actual issue, we'll find out when we get there. But I did mention, um, or I have it on my list, that the there is a quite a bit of a gap when it comes to the front or the front storage um, whether or not it's normal uh, as you can see on one side it's a little bit more than on the other so hopefully they can just adjust that and uh, fix that for me as you can see there is a tiny bit more space on this side than there is on the opposite side okay so here this is the uh, left side, left and right side, and under the Falcon Wind door plastic piece over here, just between the two doors, there's a scratch on this side and there's a scratch on the other side too. So that is also uh, on the list. I went through this, um, prob I was probably there for an hour and a half just going through everything, just listing everything um, as needed or as I noticed. Uh, I might be a little OCD when it comes to this stuff, but you know what when you pay for a vehicle or you pay this much for a vehicle um, Just expect it to be fixed Okay, going to the rear of the vehicle now uh, the Rear bumper is actually scratched. So there's a little bit of a scratch Right in there and then a scratch on the other side as well so that is, uh, sorry, that has been added to the list as well. On the passenger side door seal, uh, there is some sort of white um, discoloration happening right over there. Not sure if there was some sort of um, solvent or cleaning solution that was put on it, but that was there at the time of delivery and that has also been marked and taken pictures of when I first uh, received the vehicle. So now that I have the trunk closed, we'll take a quick look at the back here. Um, I'll just close the Falcon wing door here. Uh, I always love the way that it moves and the way that it closes. I can never get bored of that. Just looks amazing. Uh, so the rear over here kind of, if you look to the left, there's quite a bit of space on this side when it comes to uh, how it lines up. And we'll move over to the right side and you see that there's less space on this side. So I think it just, just has to be an adjustment uh, done to the hinges and um, that'll be fixed. Right side uh, door panel, or I guess you can call it quarter panel. There is a scratch, which is 
right there and that was marked uh, down as well then you can see that there's this portion right here not sure what this is but that is actually not going away um, it goes all the way up and stops right about there and then the scratch is there as well so uh, I guess we'll see what they have to do to fix that portion right there on the red side door and the quarter panel right side uh, headlight actually has um, a bit of a scuff on the inside I thought it was dirt and it looks like it, some little dirt on the inside but it does make a mark underneath so I guess we'll see if they can somehow get in there to clean it or just replace it left side falcon wing door which is the driver's side falcon wing door so when you open it you can actually see a scratch on the inner panel so um, if I didn't mention it before this falcon wing door just does not want to seem to open um, ever uh, it does from time to time it opens all the way but for the most part it thinks that there's something there um, even in the garage but even if you override it and save the location it still does the same thing so it just um, continuously doesn't open all the way um, again it might be just a quick software update uh, or something that they have to fix when you do open it there is a bit of an abrasion uh, and the paint is actually gone from there so that has been marked um, not sure if they could just touch that up um, and here right over here in here it was super dirty when I have when I first got it I may throw a picture on there of how it worked it just looked it looked terrible for picking up a brand new car um, but I did since then clean it because I just couldn't stand it anymore uh, but that is the issue with the or the two issues I guess with the Falcon window at this point most of the issues that I did notice were on the outside of the vehicle um, when I did open the inside of the vehicle I'll just do it real quick here we'll go to the front door uh, open the door now when I did open the door firstly unfortunately there was some black markings along the white interior um, that came off really quick I, I did ha happen to just have a rag that I took out of the uh, the car that I drove there um, so that was cleaned up there was also some black markings along here seems to have come out um, I did clean it a little bit uh, so that's good the only ma major issue that I noticed with the interior other than the carbon fiber uh, decor um, is we get into the car here and it's just looks amazing as it is but on the center console portion obviously there are uh, two cup holders well on this side over here the actual I don't know if you can see it but right there there is a tear in the um, I think a faux leather I guess you want to call it but right over there right there so I'm not sure what they're going to do to fix that uh, but that was there at the time of delivery as well uh, images were taken uh, I put it on the list so that is definitely something that we'll need to get changed all right guys that's it for today's video if you made it this far hit that subscribe button hit that like button it'll help the channel out a lot uh, future videos obviously I will keep you guys posted on any sort of issues and fixes that Tesla is doing on this Model X future videos coming up will be some software updates some accessories that I bought and um, planning some road trips so we'll do some driving experience videos as well uh, from inside and outside the vehicle. All right, have a good one, guys. Until next one.